Oh, no, yo. It's so much What's something you've done that was fun this week? Fish, went fishing yesterday. Now you're in church. Did you catch any fish? No. I caught a canfish. I caught a canfish. Okay. Canfish. It's okay to lie about your fish, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an okay lie. <laughs> what about you? That's fun, isn't it? <laughs> what about you? Well, you're in church. Did you catch any big fish? Yep. Okay. What about you, Jan? Um, soccer. Well, does anybody in here fish? Ooh, me. I got one in my car. Besides the kids. Did anybody catch any fish this week? I caught a monster catfish that weighed at least 100 pounds. Oh, I feel like that's a little bit. You mean From the tip of my toe to the top of my head. Not, unfortunately, my phone fell in the water after I took a picture of it, so I don't have no proof, so y'all just have to believe me. <laughs> All right. Well, being kids, y'all y'all are living in a great time. You're it's, uh, There's lots of stuff have fun with out there. And I want to give you five reasons why you ought to trust God, trust God while you're living in this great time and having these fun times. First, we're going to look into Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1. Uh, God knows you by your name. It says, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, Fear not, I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. Now we're going to look at uh, Exodus 14, verse 14, God tells us he will fight for us. Uh, it says, the Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. If we go, the third thing. If God thinks about you, this is found in Psalms 139, verse 17. It says, How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God, how great is the sum of them. O God's always thinking about you. Four, God has plans for you guys. And this is found in Jeremiah 29, verse uh, 11. Get that right. <laughs> says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil. And the last one is found in uh, Matthew 28 28. God is always with us. It says that. Uh, this, in my Bible, these words are written in red. This is where Jesus was talking. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I'm with you always, even until the end of the world. So when you're out here in this world having fun, fishing, dance team practice at Mamaw's house, playing soccer, God's with you. You know what? Yeah. So... Even when you think things aren't going right, God's with you. So just to remember that. On your worst day ever, God's with you. And he knows you by your name. You know, God's always thinking about you. It says so right here. So, so just to remember that. So uh, do something good for somebody at school this week. If you see a kid sitting at the lunch table, nobody's sitting by Go over and sit down and eat lunch with them. You might change their life. All right? All right, that's all I have. We'll stand and say a short prayer. heaven, we love you and praise you today, Lord. We thank you for the children that's come to church. Lord, we ask you to uh, 
look down upon us, Lord. Uh, protect us. Keep us safe in everything that we do, Lord. Lord, we ask you to be with the children and be with the ones that's in our prayer requests this morning, Lord. We ask you to give them comfort and peace. Lord, we ask you to be with our pastors who come before us and give us a sermon that we all stand in need of. And all these things that we ask, we ask it in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen.